Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This will be for October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, Aquarius. You got Aquarius for October. I mean, if that was the card that fell out a second ago, flipped out when I was. Okay, one more card, please. Okay, Aquarius. Right, on the bottom, you've got the King of Cups. So this is somebody that you can trust, somebody, or it's a situation that you feel is safe, uh, a solid romantic relationship. Um, I also feel like you're worried about what other people think and it's caused you a lot of anxiety because of this. And I feel like for some reason, I feel like you're the king of cups in this situation. You're the person that, you know, you're very trustworthy. And maybe you feel like your partner's not. Um, maybe you need to go and see a counsellor um, and deal with your, your feelings and your emotions and what's going on. But there's a situation that's caused you anxiety. Okay. Right, let's start. So, on the table. First of all, you've got the four. This is the card that fell out before. Four of cups in reverse. This fell out before. Someone's hesitant to open their heart. Um, I also feel like they're disappointed with what went on. They need to retreat, withdraw, and do some introspection. There could have been a third party involved, or as I said... Somebody's worried about what other people think. They're worried about, you know, you did this, you did that, you know. They just keep pulling out. Yeah, this person has secrets. You see them as being your wish fulfillment, though, which is why this is so hard for you. You don't want a beginning with anyone else. But it makes you feel very lonely because you saw this person as being your wishes fulfillment and here they are being deceptive and doing wrong by you now you need to take back your own power in your own life you need to be a leader and 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 let the other person know what you're willing to tolerate you know speak your truth stand your ground exactly You want to move on and leave the past behind so you can have a positive movement forward, learn from this situation, but you need to stand your ground and you need to take back your own power, you know? Because you want a happy home. You don't want more deception. You don't want to feel like you're stressed and worried about that and have anxiety about that, you know? Maybe you need to deal with your heart chakra, look up, do some meditation or something to help with your heart chakra because it's probably been hurt. But this is about endings and new beginnings and you completing the cycle. You're learning. Right. You don't want to let something go. You've got the tower card in reverse. So you're resisting an inevitable end. You also need to get rid of whatever doesn't serve you. Because, I mean, I'm feeling that even though that's more of the death card. But I feel like you need to do that. You need to. And this other person needs to do the same. If there's something that they're holding on to that's going to ruin your relationship, if they really are serious, they need to make a change. Do some work on them. Um... And somebody, I feel somebody also fears the change because maybe it comes down to finances or maybe it comes down to you've got kids or whatever. You're worried about leaving this other person. This could have been a lost opportunity, a missed, just, you know, missed opportunity, lost distraction or missed, hold on. A distraction or a lost opportunity is what I was trying to say. I was thinking them all in my head. Um, 
because somebody had choices. And maybe even you've got choices. Do you want to continue with this or not? Yeah, this person left you out in the cold, but here you are, you know, you're recovering from, from what they've done. You finally got some truth in the situation. Like, you know, you got some clarity. There's, you know, maybe you want to have absolution in this. Maybe you want to make a final decision and leave. You know, maybe you want to forgive. Maybe you want to make a change, whatever this is for you. But I feel like it can also be if you do break up from this person, they may want to reconcile if that's what you've chosen. And, you know, I feel like you don't want to walk away. Maybe this person did something sexual or you've got a lot of passion with this person. Um, it can also be about maybe you now wanting to focus on something creative up and not walk away from them. Maybe you want to turn to something creative to kind of get your mind off stuff. Could be that. Now, you don't want to be a free spirit. You don't want to take any chances and be a fool. You're just holding back and, and being a bit more hesitant. Um, you've got... Sorry, you've got a few major arcana cards and major arcanas, if you've got a few of them, are big changes and you have quite a few of them. So you might have some big changes coming up. Um, now, you've also got the temperance card in reverse. You need to do some self-healing from whatever's gone on. You probably need to do that. As I said, you thought this person was going to give you wishes fulfilled, but, you know, them hurting you and doing wrong by you is not fulfilling your wishes, is it? It's definitely not a good magical time in your life, that's for sure. It's about divine timing. It's also about you doing self-healing. Like I said, you've got that card twice. Same card. You definitely need to do some self-healing. And if it means going and seeing a counsellor, do that. There's a lack of victory and success, like I said. I don't feel like they're going to give you wishes fulfilled either. It's going to take your strength, to, but you still don't want to walk away from this person okay Aquarius I feel like for a lot of you you know it will get to the point you don't want to give your relationship a chance anymore Maybe there's a lack of chemistry, but you want a new love. And maybe then you're going to just get to know this new love. It might be ending for new beginnings. So depending on what your situation is, but I feel like you don't want to walk away for most of you. And maybe you're just worried, maybe worried about what's going on in the world that, you know, how you're going to meet people, you know. You've got to be fair on the bottom and you've got flexible. Now, to be fair, it's all about injustice and inequity are part of life. They do not have to define your experience. You, you observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed. Perhaps you come to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer for a personal slight. You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and others. That's what I said. I feel like this is you and standing up for yourself because you've got stand up for yourself here. You've got leaving the past behind. You've got the emperor. Like I feel like you are standing up for yourself. Um, it's a good time to advocate for those who are less fortunate. Choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference. If fairness is your intention, the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concerned through acts of kindness, empathy and courage. But I mean... You know, someone else isn't being very fair by you, are they, to do the wrong thing? So, and 19, flexible. This is about teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable within compromise, without compromising what's important. It's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Let go of rigidity if that's, if what's required right now, is what, oh, sorry, is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time. It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get your needs met. 
The appearance of this card could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. You'll be happy you made that choice. And as I said, there you had the card saying you love. So maybe you've got someone new coming into your life. I haven't seen it on these cards, but doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I just had these exact cards for some, some one of the other signs. Gold. It's about value, confidence, self-worth, money and wealth, and it's in reverse. So maybe you do need to work on your self-worth, your self-confidence and all those things. Now it's selenite green. Healing, tranquil pleasures, daydreams, imaginings. It's about you. Finding yourself daydreaming, envisaging your life as you would truly love it. It's all about manifesting. Um, your thoughts are bathed in the tranquil pleasures of love, romance and ideal relationships. They are glimpses of the future. You are entering a time of great joy, creativity and tranquility. This time your dreams and wishes really do come true. It's around the corner. Keep an open heart and mind. As I said, I feel like there's someone new coming. Even though they didn't show up, I think this was just more about your past. But... Or to still come, but you've got someone new coming in. Because endings bring new beginnings. Yeah, at the moment you don't want to split spill, but someone's being like sed seducing other people, flirting, whatever. There is no stability, security, permanence. Someone isn't considering other people in this at all they're, they're thinking about their own self but someone's going to move on and you know as i said you need to know you do deserve the best and this relationship is over and they don't deserve a second chance so i feel like this will end and then you'll meet somebody new anyway that is what i have for you aquarius i hope that resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and I will catch you with the next three. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.